All right, look down. Look up. You looked at the ceiling. All right. Hey, if you make eye contact, you're moving to a new table. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Facilitation Station. My name is Barry, and this is episode 36. Yes, today is a little icebreaker called Look Down, Look Up. Now, very simply, this is an icebreaker that's been passed down from facilitator to facilitator. It actually traces back to a great mentor uh, from all of us. I would like to say that it's in the experiential world, but his name was Carl Ronke. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, he actually called the activity Screaming Frogs. Now, the idea between look down, look up is very simple. Um, you get people in a circle, or in this case, as you see in the upcoming video, is that um, uh, everybody sits standing around the table, and then everybody is asked to look down and then look back up. When you look back up and you make eye contact with somebody, then basically you scream as loud as you can, and the first person <laughs> That loses their voice and can't scream anymore is out. Now, uh, it's this is one of those activities that you uh, it started out being an out game, and then once you're out, uh, you kind of step out of the circle or sit down or whatever the case may be, because that's what people think of being out. Uh, now, some facilitators have actually said, uh, "Don't be out. Start circling around a, a circle, trying to get people to laugh and during the scream and." Try to get them to stop stutter or whatever so they mess up in that particular case uh, but there are different variations to not being out uh, in other words if you're the one that ends up stopping then you can actually go to another table or another small group uh, and then actually join their group so that's one variation that you're going to see here in the video uh, so that way you're not out um, what i like to do when dealing with my audience Screaming Frogs version with screaming as loud as you can. It's a great icebreaker for youth. Now, what does that do for adults? Some adults may not actually get into that kind of mentality. So with that said, uh, in the video that you see coming up, uh, I kind of gave them a parental look and actually said, stop it. Uh, and then if they said stop it and the first one to smile, you know, was that kind of person that actually could leave or you could just say, if you both make eye contact and you actually both go to another table. So this is a great icebreaker, a great activity. Stick around, watch the video, and we'll go from there. So the first thing you need to do is look around the table intently at those at your table and those at your table only. So get close with the table, start looking intently. So level one is going to start like this. Level one is, this is called look down, look up. So if I ask you to look down, everybody look down at the table. Okay. When I ask you to look up, not yet, you're going to try to look at somebody at the table. Okay. The idea, the hope is that you do not make eye contact with anybody. Okay. If you make eye contact, then you're out. Ooh. All right. So look down. Look up. All right. If you were out, you can stand. Look down. Look up. Oh, that's right. If you, this time when you make eye contact, you are officially going to be out. On your table, there are numbers. You're going to go to the next consecutive table. So when you're out... In other words, if you're at table one, you're going to table two. If you get out, if you're at table two, you go to table three and so forth. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. Clarification has been called. You have to look at somebody I love around the table. In other words, if I look down, look up, and everybody's looking different, if I look at somebody's ear hole, then I'm safe. Look down, and you look up. Yes. Well, if they look, if now here's the deal. If so, let's play. Let's play with me and you. Look down, look up. 
I chose to look this way. Now, she's looking at me as we made eye contact, but if she chose to look at her, and I'm not looking at her eyes, I'm still safe. So you're choosing to look at somebody different at the table every single time, hoping that they're not going to look at you. All right, look down. Look up. You looked at the ceiling. All right. Hey, if you make eye contact, you're moving to a new table. Now, at that table, you're going to introduce yourself. Say, hi, my name is. And you're going to say if this statement is true or false for you. If you move to a new table, now, if nobody came to your table, the tallest person has to introduce themselves. And say if this is true for you or not. I like flying in airplanes. Ready, set, go. Look down. Look up. Remember, if you make eye contact, eye contact move to the next table. Now, we're going to change the rules a little bit. Now, you have to get in parent mode, okay, for this one, okay? Or, if you're not a parent, get into big brother, big sister mode, all right? If, when I say look down and you look up and you choose to look at somebody, if they happen to choose to look at you and you make eye contact, okay, you both have to say the word, stop it! The first one to say stop it is actually safe. The other one, so you have to say it loud and say it quickly. But now, here's the trick though. If you look down and you look up and nobody is making con eye contact with you and you see the word stop it anyway, the table can actually vote you off for saying it <laughs> at the wrong time. All right? So this is like voting off the island. Look down. Look up. <laughs> Look down. Yes. Look up. We're going to the speed round. Speed round means you're not moving. But when I say the words stop and roll, then we're going into that, and that's when you move. Okay, so here we go. Speed around. Look down. Look up. <laughs> Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. <laughs> Ask yourself. Ask yourself. If this, tell, you, tell the group. If you move, tell the group here. Introduce yourselves. Always introduce yourself. But say if this is true for you or not. I love liver. Uh, if you are at a table that is four or less, move to a new table. If you are at a table four or less, move to a new table. So, in other words, we're filling up tables. Here we go. There we go. We're going speed around again, so we're not moving tables. We're just staying where you are. Look down. Look up. You're doing this. Yeah, you have to stop it. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Look down. Look up. Last time, look down, look up. Very nice. Give each other a round of applause. All right, you can go back to your table. Thanks for visiting Facilitation Station. We really hope that you enjoy this episode. If you would like a full write-up of this uh, activity, be sure to check out the show notes down below. Click on that link and it will take you to our blog where you can actually view the full write-up and that includes variations, notes, and even processing questions if you wish. Also, if you'd like to receive additional notifications on when we create new content, be sure to click here to subscribe. Also, remember, if you do like this content, be sure to ring that bell down below, and that way you receive the notifications when they do come. Also, if you wanna see last week's video, be sure to click here. And again, thanks for visiting Facilitation Station, and until next time, We'll see you later.